already started. Silk was in a full cry. Carol's wiping tears away on the bench. Sue Bird's over here leading the Who's House, Silk's House chant. As we say, the greatest center to play the game. She's also one of the greatest human beings. And that combination, that combination is the thing that makes her so likable and so lovable. Syl loves people. You know what Syl does not love? All it is. The attention. But guess what? You're going to get it tonight. Because all of these people have been waiting to tell you, thank you, we love you, we respect you, we admire you. And
We talked about culture. We talked about the future. We talked about helping others. We talked about leadership and all of those things. It was wonderful. And I enjoyed it. But it leads to the last thing. And that's the future. I'm here to talk to you about the future. I'm here to watch you in the future. I know you're going to be great. You're going to help a lot of people. And I wish you the best on your journey. Represent yourself, this community, this team, your country is with dignity, grace, and class. You're truly one of one, and I love you. Thank you much, so much. So. He is a current teammate of Sills. We are now going to hear from two former teammates of Sills, Lindsey Whalen and Rebecca Brunson. Be When she first came into the league, we were opponents. And I pride myself on being a solid defender, right? But she made life really, really hard. Um, and after we would compete, she would come up to me and she would give me one of those seal hugs. If you've ever been hugged by seal, you know exactly what I'm talking about with a seal hug. It's an embrace, it's tight, right? And at first I was like, is she taunting me? What's happening right now? But after we were competitors, then I had the chance to play with Seal. Well, the first thing I thought when she was coming to the links was, we gonna win some more. Right? Yes. But then I was excited about the opportunity to figure out what was behind the Seal hug, who she was. And not for a moment was I disappointed. She was exactly what that hug said. I care about you. I support you. I want to see you succeed. I'm there for you, no matter what it is. She's been that hug for this community, too. So thank you for that. And then I had the opportunity to sit on the side and yell at you a little bit. And that's where it got fun. <laughs> But then I was so happy with the way that you approached the game, the way you wanted to learn about the game, the way that you wanted to continue to grow, even though you were great, even though everything that you embodied was greatness. You still wanted to watch the video. You still wanted to get better. You still wanted to be able to support your teammates. So in all of those things, in all of those levels, I think you continue to express why you are great, 
Dan's basketball is wonderful. But the person that you are, the person that you are consistently is what makes you an amazing, amazing person. So thank you for just allowing me to be in your orbit. Hey guys, Lindsay. How's everybody doing? Good. Sylvester Flowers. Sylvester Flowers. That's right. Uh, so, when I think back on, on our time together uh, playing here with the Lynx, we had a bunch of special people that came together at a really cool time in our lives. Coach, Glenn, Becky, um, Chuck, where's Chuck? Hey Chuck. Chuck Bard, I'm like trainer. Jim P, Shelly P, Becky, Moan, and, uh, and Maya. We came together a really cool time. And we were a championship team. We were a championship team at that point. And then, we got Sylvester Flowers, also known as Sylvia Fowles. Sweet Syl. And when she joined the team, we became a dynasty. Without, without her, we don't win 2015 for sure. She was a hot mess. Um, we don't win 2015, right, Syl? Right, coach? We don't win 2015 without Syl. We don't make it back to the finals in 2016. And we certainly don't win in 2017. So, thank you so much um, for coming to us at a very special time in all of our lives. Um, and uh, what's that? She, she did win a few, yes. Yes, she did, right? Right? 2017, regular season, yes, and finals. So, thank you for reminding me. MVP! Uh, so, we love you. I can't wait for you to be up here in the rafters and um, share with you. Future Hall of Famer, Naismith Hall of Famer. And she gave us, you can be so proud. Here, here's the great thing about Syl. You know what motivated Syl to work out and get herself ready and dunk in the All Star game and to be great? She never wanted to look bad. Syl never wanted to look bad. She didn't want to be one of those old players that maybe should have quit two years ago. Syl wanted to be on top. That was uh, an immense motivation for Sue. 
Thank you still for your sacrifices. You can feel so good. We, have, we know about the immense uh, impact that Sills had on all of our lives, right? She's touched so many lives, not just basketball, just well beyond basketball. Your, that's right, your, your sacrifices uh, mean so much to us. And still, you gave us everything you had. And you should be so proud of that. We love you and we thank you.
to commemorate her historic career. At center court, Link's owners Glenn and Becky Taylor are presenting Sylvia Fowles with some special gifts. Target center, one more time for the legend, the post with the most. 